Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are going to be interpreting linear models today. In other words, we're going to be looking at some word problems and trying to pick out the slope, which is your rise over your run, or and or your y-intercept. So that sound might sound a little bit complicated, but um, we'll walk you through it. It'll be really um, pretty straightforward by the end. Let's go ahead and take a look first at our slope intercept form of a line a quick review the slope intercept form of a line is written like this y equals mx plus b where slope is your m value and your y intercept is the number off the end so in an example equation y equals 3x plus 2 your slope would be 3 and your y intercept would be 2 or the point 0 2 so that's the slope intercept form of a line and we're going to look at some linear equations that have some actual word problems involving the slope intercept form of a line. Let's take a look. A tow truck company uses the equation F equals 3.25M plus 50 to calculate the fee where F is the total fee and M is the number of miles. So you'll notice that in this equation you have a couple of pieces of information. F equals 3.25M plus 50, um, and that is in the slope intercept form. It's just not Y equals MX plus B, it's F equals 3.25M plus 50. I'll show you what that means. What is the rate per mile? Well, let's take a look. The total fee, M is the number of miles, Okay, so our total fee is F. The total fee is 3.25 times M plus 50. So it's 3.25 times every mile. So our rate per mile is 3.25 or $3.25 per mile. That's um, the cost per mile. What's the total cost if the car is towed zero miles? All right. To calculate that, we would take our original equation, 3.25m plus 50, and substitute the value of 0 in there for the miles. So it would look like this. 3.25 times 0 is 0, and 0 plus 50 gives us 50. So the total fee would be $50 if you didn't tow any miles at all. So just the hookup fee or whatever. Um, now, the reason why I brought up such a silly example, because obviously you maybe you would tow like 0.5 miles or something, but if we're looking at this equation and we're asking what is our slope and our y-intercept, and what do they mean? By doing these questions, we're hopefully able to figure that out. Our slope is the constant rate of change, or the rate per mile. So our slope is 3.25, whoa, back up, and the y-intercept, in other words, when our x value is 0, our y-intercept is going to be 50. Notice the y-intercept is the cost if the car was towed 0 miles. So we can kind of see all of the parts of a linear equation in the slope-intercept form shown here, and that's why I made the car being towed zero miles, um, so that we could see, oh, that's what that means. The zero, or the m there that you saw, that was like our x value. So if x is equal to zero, y is equal to 50. The rate per mile is how or is the constant change, and that is our slope. So knowing that, we could be able to go on to our next question and not have to go through quite as many um, steps. Let's look at this. An amazing author comes to the school and charges according to this equation, P equals 15H plus 100, where H is the number of hours she stays at the school and P is the, is the total payment. Let's take a look. What is her rate per hour? In other words, what is the slope? So you can figure this out in one of several different ways. Um, the one I'm going to use is just looking at the equation. I know this is our y equals mx plus b format, so the slope is the number right in front of h. In other words, the slope is 15. I can also say I know that it's a steady rate of increase, a rate of $15 times the number of hours. In other words, it's $15 per hour. 
Um, one other way you could start substituting values in for h and seeing how much they increase every time. You could do that as well. Um, what's the total cost if she stays for three hours? Any type of question like this is going to require some substitution. Similar to what we did in the previous question, only last time we used the number zero, but this time we would substitute three in for our hours, multiply 15 times three, and then add that to 100. It would cost the school $145 to bring the author in. Um, pretty good deal for such an amazing author. All right, so those are some of the types of questions that you might get when they're connected to this Common Core Anchor and this Pennsylvania Eligible Content. Hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.